Hey guys, it's Mr. B here again. Thank you for checking out part two. This is a three part series. I hope you enjoyed part one. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write them down in the comment section below. And I'll definitely take a look at that and see what I can do to help you guys. All right, last time we animated kick center and the goalie. Today we're going to animate kick left and kick right. To do that, we're going to head up here to picture and choose picture from a file and we're going to insert a new image we want goalkeeper dive with no ball and just insert that and now let's just shrink this until you're happy with the size and once you're happy we're going to move it as close as possible to the goalie idol image here i think that'll do now open our selection pane and give it a name Maybe this one is called uh, Goalie Left Block. <laughs> Any name will do. And drag this under Goalie Idol here. And now let's animate the soccer ball. Click on Soccer Ball here. Go to Animation and choose Path Animation Lines. By default, it's going to uh, go down. So let's choose Effect Option and choose Up. Now we're going to find where the animation ends, this little red arrow here. Click on that and just drag it where his hands are, right there. Okay, now click on soccer ball one more time. And now we're going to do grow shrink animation. All right. And let's click on soccer ball one more time and let's give it a spin animation this time. All right, and let's copy this and move it to the left. This will be our new button. And this will be the kick left button. So once you're happy where the pos positioning is, you can just give it a name. So this is kick left and also give it a name here. Change the name here. So let's call it kick left button. Okay, oops, let's just write it, it better here, okay. All right, now click on animation, select the animation that you created, go to trigger here. Let's find the new button on click and look for um, kick left button here. So now we have the new animation under the kick left button. The first animation should be five seconds for duration. And this should be with previous. And let's change the duration to 0.5 and let's give it a small animation shrink animation of 50% here we are going to go with previous 0.2 for the duration this is the spin animation and for the repeats we want to select custom and let's give it 14 spins all right now we've got to add a few more animation. So let's head back to um, here, selection pane, and click on the soccer ball. And let's click on path animation and choose bounce. All right. And now we can click on this animation and just drag it to the end of this animation right here. It'll snap right on to it. And now we're going to drag it off the screen. So drag it as far as you can off the screen because we're going to add a grow animation soon to it. So just drag it off until you're happy. And now we click on soccer ball one more time and let's give it a grow animation. So click here. And now let's head back to animation. Now we have our two animations here. Let's drag that under kick left button here at the very bottom. And let's click here with previous. And let's give it one second and delay of five, uh, five seconds, 0.5 seconds. All right, for the grow animation, let's click on that. And let's choose width previous. And for the duration, let's give it um, 
two seconds and the delay 0.5 seconds all right and let's make it huge for the property here 400 and now we just need to animate the goalie here so we want this one to disappear and we want the new animation to appear or the new picture to appear so let's click on the new image here go to appear and click on the goalie idle here and exit effect disappear all right now we have the animation here and let's do it again so we're going to click on these two animation and drag it to the bottom and for timing with previous and the delay should be 0.2 seconds all right so now we want the idle image to appear again so click on that and choose appear and for this one let's choose disappear so it's just going to be a quick animation now select both of them and drag it to the bottom here with previous and let's give it delay of 0.5 seconds and now we can test it out to see what that looks like so let's click on the kick left button all right so we have the soccer ball going in shrinking and then going off the screen growing larger now we're going to do the same thing for the right side okay so we are going to copy one of the buttons again any button will do so uh, control c and control v if you're using a macbook to copy and paste and let's drag it to the right until you're happy with the alignment looks okay to me here and let's call it kick right okay let's give it a name here as well let's call it kick right button and now you want to do the same thing you did with the uh, kick left animation okay so let's copy this since the animation is already in there so copy uh, this image right here go to picture format and let's um, flip it horizontal drag it to the right and I think right about there is good and once you're happy with the position let's drag this uh, give this a name call it goalie right and then we're gonna drag it under goalie idle just like we did before here all right there's the animation for the goalie right there so let's do the same thing let's go to selection pane soccer ball and go to animation choose uh, path animation choose lines and then choose effect option up and then click on the end of this animation the red arrow here and just drag it where his hands are right there okay click on the soccer ball again let's choose the grow shrink animation we're going to do the shrink animation when the ball goes in and click on the soccer ball again choose spin animation and let's click on the soccer ball one more time and choose path animation and choose bounce all right so let's click on this animation and drag it to the end of this animation right here and we want it to bounce to the right so we're going to grab this part and just move it to the right just like what we did on the left move it as far as you can off the screen all right and now let's give it a grow animation all right so now we have all the animation here so we have we'll just move this down here and let's put all of this and go to trigger and find kick right button this one right here and now let's change the timing so this one is okay should be on click 0.5 seconds uh, this one should be with previous this is the grow anime uh, shrink animation so put it to 0.5 and let's give it shrink effect of 50 percent 
Uh, this one is the, the spinning animation with previous 0.2 seconds. And delay, uh, uh, sorry, repeat of 14 seconds for customs. This one with previous one second and delay 0.5. And this one, the grow animation with previous, let's give it 0.2 seconds, delay of 5.5 seconds, effect 400. And for this and this one, we want to change the delay to 0.2. And just like the goalie on the left, we need to put two more animations here. Oops, we need to change this to 0.5 seconds. Let's click on this image. So let's give it an exit animation, disappear. And let's click on it one more time and put appear for animation. And let's grab both of them and drag it between here. And let's change the timing to with previous. And for this one, let's give it 0.2 delay. And this one, 0.5 seconds delay. And now we can test it out to see what that looks like. All right, perfect. Try it out again. Awesome. Now that we have completed this slide, let's make a duplicate of it. Go here, right click, duplicate slide. And now we're gonna put another image in here. Okay, so go to insert and choose pictures and pictures from a file. We want goalkeeper crying. So let's find that image here and insert it. And now we need to flip the image the other way. So flip horizontal and let's shrink it to about uh, 1.7 and drag it here. All right, once we're happy with that, let's go to selection paint and give it a name. Any name will do. Let's call it goal, goalie crying and let's drag that under goalie idle here. And now we're ready to animate. So click on goalie crying, choose appear. Now let's open animation and drag goalie crying to a kick right button. So put it here and let's change the start to with previous and delay 0.5 seconds. We can also delete other animation that we don't need anymore, like goalie idol. So the green goalie idol here, delete that. And also the soccer ball here, the grow animation. We don't need that. So let's delete that. And also we need to do one more thing. Um, we need to change the bounce animation um, to make it go inside the goal net. So here is the bounce animation. So it was bouncing off the slide before. We just drag it in and put it anywhere you want inside the net here. Maybe a little behind the, the goalkeeper here. And when you're happy with the position, you can test it out by hitting the play button. All right, kick right. All right, so it looks great. If you want to adjust the soccer ball a little bit more, you can do that. You can change the bounce animation to make it go a little higher or a little in, in the goal as well. All right, so here is our control slide. Make a duplicate of it. And now let's animate kick left this time. Okay, we're gonna animate kick left. Let's go to insert, insert image, pictures from a file and choose the crying goalie or the goalie crying again. So the same thing we did for kick right, we do for kick left. So insert the image and shrink it to the size that you want. So this in this case, it's 1.7 and drag it next to the goalie idle here, right underneath the, the goalie block there. And let's give it a name. In selection pane call it goalie crying and then drag it under goalie idle and now let's animate it click here choose animation choose up here right here and open animation and drag this onto kick left button at the bottom here right there all right and now we are going to go to um we need to delete goalie idle and the grow 
soccer ball. For this, the new animation, choose with previous, delay 0.5 seconds. And now we need to drag the animation, the bounce animation. So let's grab it and drag it in like behind the net a little bit until you're happy. And maybe we just push this up just a little bit, maybe right there. And now we can test it out to see what that looks like. Let's click on kick left. Bam! Looks good to me. Again, if you want the ball to be a little cl uh, closer inner in to the net, just change the animation a little bit to drag it until you're happy. Now let's animate kick center. So let's go to our control slide here. Right click duplicate slide. And for this one, we're going to go to insert pictures, picture from a file. And we're going to choose a different anime uh, picture. So let's choose um, the one I want is this one, sad goalkeeper. And we're going to put him right in the center. So let's shrink him a little bit until you're happy. Maybe a little smaller. Um, maybe about there in the center and make him a little smaller. All right. I think that looks OK, about 2.8. Let's drag them a little down here and then align center. And let's give it a name in selection pane. Let's call it um, goalie crying again and drag that under the goalie idol. Okay, so we're going to put it behind this image. And now let's animate it. So click on goalie crying, choose animation, and choose appear. All right, and we're going to drag that where it says kick center button right here. Click on this picture. Go to exit effect and click disappear and drag that right here. All right. Next, we need to change one of the animations. So on this animation, soccer ball grow, we want to shrink it actually. So we click on it, go to effect options. Right now it's on grow to 400%, but we want to reduce that. So let's make it smaller to 50%. Now click on this animation, the bounce animation, and let's drag that somewhere uh, into the net. So about right there, and let's just push up a little bit until you're happy with the position. Maybe a little here and a little lower. All right, and now that it's inside the goal, we can click here and here and choose start with previous, delay 0.5 seconds. And now we can hit play to see what that looks like. Kick center. Oh, super. All right, now you have success, successfully animated kick left, kick center, and kick right. On the third video, I will be showing you how to put an arrow to go to the next slide and also, I will show you how to add sound effects to make your PowerPoint game come alive. Hope you enjoy part two of this how to make a soccer game. And if you do, don't forget to like, share, and comment. And if you're new to the channel and want more PowerPoint game tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification bell so you get the latest materials when I put them up on my channel. Again, thank you for checking out my part two, how to make a PowerPoint game. See you on part three. Oh, yeah! I wish you the best of luck in your classes.